Our whole world is made up of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and as mass. But what is the simplest part of matter that we can ever find? And how does it behave? Well, matter is made up of atoms, and atoms comprise of subatomic particles, which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. However, protons and neutrons are not the simplest particles in the universe, as they are made up of quarks. Now, just like ice cream is made up of different flavors, which can be strawberry, vanilla, or banana, quarks are made up of different types of flavors, which are up, down, top, bottom, charm, and strange. And different combinations of all these quarks can result in formation of new particles. However, these quarks can never be found alone in isolation, and this is referred to as quark confinement. What do I mean by this? Well, consider the following example. You have two groups of children that are playing game of toggle 4. Now, as they pull the ropes in opposite direction, the tension in the rope increases, and it becomes difficult for them to be separated. But as they come close to each other, the rope becomes taut, and the tension in the rope decreases, hence they are able to move around, but they still remain confined in a region of space. Those two groups can represent two separate quarks. If you try to separate quarks, the energy stored in the force field between them begins to increase. Just like particles in the rope communicate that strong tension, particles called gluons are responsible for communicating the strong nuclear force. But if you continue to pump in enough energy, that energy will be converted into mass and new quarks start popping up. This is according to Einstein's famous equation E is equal to mc squared, which says that mass and energy are equivalent. Now quarks can form a group of two, which is referred to as a meson, and if they're in a group of three, they're referred to as bion, but they can never be found alone or as discrete particles. And if quarks move closer to each other, the force between them decreases and they're able to move more freely. This is referred to as asymptotic freedom. The study of quarks can spark new discoveries in both theoretical and experimental physics, deepening our understanding of the world.